OK, John, well, the other night we had a 1-0 win, but this evening a 1-0 reverse against the Czech Republic. What was your thoughts? Um, I think we would be low par tonight, if I'm honest. Um, I didn't think we played particularly well first half, in, you know, certainly first half. I uh, didn't think we passed the ball with any real conviction. Uh, didn't pass it with any real quality, I think, and the tempo was a bit slower. Um, but credit to the Czechs. I mean, they've really worked hard tonight and uh, they've, they've given everything. And, you know, unfortunately, we uh, just didn't quite get maybe the point that I don't think we quite deserved and credit to the Czechs for getting the result. We made something like six or seven changes this evening, the idea being that we could give everyone in the squad a go. Yeah, seven changes made. Uh, I went with the purpose of doing that right at the outset of this tournament. I, you know, to win it would be, you know, in, you know, good and we, obviously we go out with the intention of trying to win games. But the biggest thing is to make sure that everybody gets a, a fair um, part to play in the tournament and that means getting a start. And uh, we've done that tonight. Um, I thought that would have been enough to obviously, you know, get the result against the Czechs, but it isn't. But um, as far as I'm concerned, it, it, the, the tournament does what it is intended to do, which is learn a lot more about the players and a lot more about the team generally. Of course, the Czech Republic would have been a different style of opposition for the lads this evening compared to Italy the other night. Yeah, different. Um, very competitive as always, always difficult to beat the Czechs as we well know, that's why we bring three very very good teams here to this tournament, you know we want to play against the best opposition in Europe, uh, we think in Italy, Portugal and the Czech Republic, you know it definitely is that um, and as I said they're always going to be resilient, always going to be difficult to beat and you know getting the first goal is always quite crucial at any international level and uh, you know credit to them they got the first one tonight. Obviously the weather didn't help either side and we got off to a bit of a poor start with the, with the penalty, didn't we, in the first half? Yeah, yeah, through his own making really and that's what I'm saying. I just don't think we played at the right tempo. We didn't pass the ball as well as we should have done. Made a few unforced errors. A lot of the uh, mistakes we made in the first half were down to ourselves. So I don't think we have any complaints tonight and uh, we just got to pick, pick ourselves up and um, hopefully play a lot better on Sunday. Second half saw Devante Cole and Akpum come on. Um, do you think they gave us a bit more pace and direction up front? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, it wasn't done intentionally. We had a, a, an injury to, to Ben Pearson, you know, a slight little um, injury with him, so we had to change things anyway at half-time. It wasn't my intention to probably do both of them at half-time. Um, but yeah, as I said, it was just a chance of giving everybody a fair chance tonight to show what they can do. Um, so, you know, changes are always going to be made in the, in, in the game. Also, we had our usual sort of Premier League players, but also some Championship players involved, now, wasn't there? Crystal Palace, Nottingham Forest, all, yeah. all getting a look in. Yep. Yeah, it's good to see, and I think you know over the last several years we've not always you know alleged you know supposedly had the best um, you know academies or the best you know the best um, players from all the top clubs by any means. We like to think we've got a fair smashing. I mean, last year we had we had Crew Alexander had three players in the under 17 squad. So as far as I'm concerned, you know they're getting here on merit, and uh, it's great to see that. Uh, there's been a lot of he national headlines about cleverly making it into the England squad, and we had two United youngsters in there as well this yeah. evening. Yeah, uh, and, and good to see, you know. And I said in in, um, in Ben and Joe, we, you know, two good players, but we think we've got a decent squad here. We've been disappointed tonight, um, and as I said, we'll have to learn from their mistakes, and that's what it's about. But generally, I'm not disappointed with the quality of the squad, um, and there's obviously a few other players still to look at. Um, and as I said, it serves its purpose really this week and, uh, you know, quite pleased in that respect. And maybe a little word about the Czech Republic keeper, he certainly kept some in it, didn't he? Yeah, I, I mean, in all this, you know, disappointment of not winning the game or not getting something out of the game, I have to say we've probably had six or seven very good chances. The keeper's had a fantastic game, you know, but, you know, as far as I'm concerned, all in all, I think probably the Czechs just probably deserved it on the night and, uh, you know, well, well done to the Czechs. So just looking ahead to the final game against Portugal at Sixfield Stadium in Northampton, um, more changes ahead of that game? Well, there's one or two little injury uh, situations arisen today, so we'll uh, reflect tomorrow, see who's uh, you know fit and able. Um, and yeah, changes will be made again, obviously, because you know, I've rested a few today and I've brought a few on at half time and during the second half. So we'll review it and, um, you know, as I said, look forward to a very, very competitive game against the Portuguese, I'm sure. Um, so, in conclusion, um, it's been a defeat, but a learning curve for the lads involved, isn't it? That's probably a good way of summing it up, I think, yeah. Um, part of the international experience at under 17 level and about trying to manage uh, games when you're not playing particularly well and getting something out of it that leaves you a chance in the last uh, game to get something uh, going forward you know to making sure we either win it or for, certainly finish second because when we go to the October uh, qualifying rounds in Bosnia the top two need to go through so we have to make sure that you know a result on Sunday would have probably given us six points that should get make us uh, go into the last stages of the European uh, elite round so 
this is a good learning curve and uh, you know great preparation for them